We'd like to invite uh, Julia Gould and Aaron Johnson to the stage, our current Coro Fellows, for the next presentation. Wow, Secretary Padilla, that's a hard Coro alumni act to follow. Now, I want you all to picture this. It's a Saturday evening and you're packed into a one-bedroom apartment with nine individuals whom you've only met five days ago. This really disagreeing about the role of government here in Los Angeles and the title of Monday's presentation. The next week, you find yourself in yet another group, and this time you're tasked with figuring out how to start your own small business in Glendale. The catch? You can't use any internet. And now it's Tuesday, the first day of your government placement at the nation's largest transportation agency, Metro. And you're working directly under the brand new CEO. Then you're back at seminar the next night, mapping the system of affordable housing here in Los Angeles. This is just a snapshot of what the day-to-day -day is like in the life of a Coral Fellow. As you can probably imagine, these past eight months, working with 10 successful, amazing, and stubborn individuals has been grueling, but also incredibly transformational. And we have been molded into leaders who can now dive into discomfort and into really messy problems and come out of it with providing some value to the world around us. And for all 10 of us this year, we've had that defining moment. And for myself, it took place during my business placement at IW Group where despite knowing absolutely nothing about marketing, I found myself on a red-eye flight to Tampa Bay, Florida to meet with their biggest client, McDonald's. And in true Coro fashion, on that flight, I was given the unbelievable opportunity to deliver the opening pitch for the agency the following morning. You can imagine what that was like. <laughs> Working under deadline pressures like that taught me that in this business of public affairs, you're not always gonna have the time you want to prepare. And coming from an academic environment where everything was laid out for me on a syllabus, Coros taught me to ditch the rubric, deal with the uncertainty, and empower myself to get something done. And for me, one of the greatest gifts that I've gained from Coro is the desire to be curious about everything and to question all that is around me, even if it challenges my own worldview. Coming into Coro, I thought that government was slow and effective. I thought that politicians only cared about the next election and that... <laughs> 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 And that big issues, such as closing the wage gap, were the only ones that were worth fighting for. And while some of this might hold true, it only touches the surface. Through Coral, I've grown an appreciation for the tough decisions that leaders have to make to distribute an always limited amount of money. And for the seemingly small things, such as the entrance to a metro station, that can make just as much as an impact on our lives, even though it doesn't make headlines. Coro has taught us that nothing is black and white, and that everything is gray. And while the gray might be scary, that is the area where leaders can finally come together and do the genuine problem solving. And this year would not have been possible with each and every one of you, whether it's hosting a fellow, sitting in the hot seat for an interview, or contributing in a variety of other ways. We cannot thank you enough. This is the Coro Network, your support does not only impact our lives, but our communities. Thank you, and we cannot wait to pay it forward. <laughs>